What is up guys, welcome back to the videos. Today is just gonna be a really quick one on how to replace the starter motor on any 5.3 liter Chevy or GMC engine. This should work for a ton of vehicles. I'll try and leave them down below, but this should be a quick video. So if it helps you guys out, please leave a like, subscribe, and check out the playlist for more DIY stuff. Let's get into it. Personally, first I like to look at the new part, see where all my holes are and what connections I have. Looks like I have two holes for two studs that go all the way through here, and then two studs for the electrical connections and probably a third right here for the ground. So let's get under it and it should be, well, let's get under it and I'll show you guys what tools we need and everything. The tools you're gonna need for this is a 3 8 inch ratchet with a 13 millimeter and probably extension, a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench, regular wrench, or just a regular quarter inch drive with a 10 millimeter on it and an eight millimeter deep socket. Make sure your 13 is a deep socket as well for those terminals. Let's get into it. Since we are dealing with electrical connections and stuff like that, we do wanna make sure that we disconnect our, at least our negative terminal from our battery. So just really quick, it's a 10 mil. Take the negative terminal off your battery so that you don't short anything out, blow any fuses, shock yourself, etc. So you do want to come over here to your passenger side of your engine, get underneath it. You can locate your exhaust right here, sorry about the lighting, and then your starter will be right behind your exhaust or your downpipe. Um, and then we're going to start with these two 13 millimeter studs that go all the way through. So let's go ahead and take these out and then we'll get on to the ground and power side that's on the back of it and I'll show you guys kind of tricks to maneuver this thing out with all these lines and connectors and everything in here. So I came in the passenger side wheel well and as you guys can see the starter's right here and I pulled the heat shield off of it. There it is down there. The heat shield little thing. That'll go back on when we get it all back together, but I kind of just pulled the starter towards me from the top at an angle, and that gives me access to all of those uh, terminals for our electrical cables here. So now that that's out of its position, we can take these terminals off and get the starter out. So as it sits right now, it should basically just fall out once we get those terminals disconnected. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. All right, with the starter out, I can show you a little bit better what needs to be done. Um, I mistakenly took off this 13 millimeter nut as well, but it's just part of the st starter solenoid. So this one doesn't need to come off. Just this bottom one and this little eight millimeter nut right here for these two terminal studs. Um, I got to both of these from inside the wheel well. My truck is lifted just a tiny bit so it makes it easier to squeeze in there. If it's not, you guys might have to jack up this side of your car a little bit, take the tire off, and it'll give you access in there pretty easily. So there's just the two 13 millimeter studs that go all the way through, and then the 13 millimeter nut that comes off the end here, and the eight millimeter nut that comes off the ground here. Then this should be able to just slide out the bottom right next to your exhaust toward the rear of the vehicle pretty easily. So let's get the new one and we'll get it back in and I'll show you guys uh, how to put it back together. All right, underneath the vehicle again, we should in this area be able to just slide our new starter in relatively easily. Let me get you guys a good angle. Slide it in just like that. Don't get stuck on anything. It's not the easiest thing to do in the world with one hand, but we're getting there. Slide it up through your hard lines for your transmission there. Get it into place. And then you should be able to just maneuver it you get it lined back up 
under here. I need to rotate it 180 degrees, so that might be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Let me remaneuver this thing now that it's in, now that you guys know what angle to get it in from, and I'll show you guys putting the studs back in. Okay, so it was pretty easy. I just had to rotate it 180 degrees, stick it back in there, and then I just used my 13 mil and an extension, started those two studs by hand, tightened them down. They don't have to be torqued crazy tight or anything. Just snug them down good enough where it'll hold. Now let's go ahead and go up into the wheel well, and we'll put those terminals and electrical connectors back on, and she'll be ready to start. All right, guys, easy enough. Hopefully this video helped you guys, showed you guys the right steps to take to replace the starter on your 5.3 motor. Tahoe, Chevy Silverado, Yukon, um, Escalade. I don't know. There's a bunch of cars. I'll try and put them down below. But like I said, hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Be more DIY content coming soon. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.